So I'm really excited about Witcher 4 and the new release of the trailer and we've got that round the corner. But what I've always loved about the Witcher series is the elements of storytelling, but also that character progression and killing lots of monsters, which is really fun and exciting. And I thought the trailer was superb for this because it had all those elements. It was giving us a glimpse of that. You've got the classic Witcher scenario where there's villagers plagued by a monster. Siri comes along and says, I'm going to sort it out for you. It's about time we had this issue dealt with. And then we see the character progression in a sense, the game element where Siri goes out, fights the monster, and we see different aspects of the game, this sort of interesting monster battle that we have where it's coming in and out of the fog, she zaps it with some zappy things, we kind of get the impression that there's going to be skills and fighting and monsters and that's what you want and building up of that character. But then comes the classic Witcher element of this gritty real story where she comes back, she's saved the damsel in distress, this young girl which was going to be sacrificed and the villagers are all angry with her. She's just tampered with their ancient traditions and this is kind of their god, this monster, and she's just gone and killed it. This for me is such amazing storytelling where it's not just there's some evil, let's go and destroy it, there's some more evil, let's go and destroy it. We've got this real dilemma of tradition and distorted religion versus good and evil. And I love those stories that make you think a bit, they make you reflect a little bit on your own life and society. And that kind of storytelling with that progression makes a game really fun. You're living out the story, there's a reason to progress and get better because you need to defeat the next thing and you have a reason to kill it. Now if I were to compare this to something like Diablo 4, I still had a lot of fun playing that game, so I don't mean to diss it completely, but there's not a lot of story really going on. I mean, obviously there is, but you feel no investment in that story. There's no obvious dilemmas. There's just evil there, evil there, go and kill it. And these evil things could be anything. They could be icons, they could be um, cool looking witches or whatever it is, but there, it hasn't got that same sense of dilemma, thinking through the story, decision making. It's just go and kill some stuff. There's lots of cool progression in the game, but there's not really a story. And that's what I want to get across with this little video here. Can you combine the storytelling nature of a game with that progression nature and you've got yourself an absolute hit? And I think this is where I need some help from everybody out there. If you can tell me your favorite game that combines story and that sense of progression and gameplay, then let me know. I wanna see what your thoughts are and see if there's any hidden gems out there that I've not really given a go. So let me know what you think. I'm looking forward to seeing what you come up with.